The fighter pilot knows that when holding a deflection shot, he will be flying in a turn. He may not realize, however, that the amount of the deflection required varies both with the angular rate of his turn and the bullet's time of flight. As both these factors are variable, it is convenient to simplify the problem by accepting for the moment a fixed time of flight for the bullet. This is done by applying the problem to a single given range. The amount of the deflection will then be the angle through which the gun rotates during the time of flight determined by this range. From this, it follows that at a fixed range, the deflection can be predicted by the rate of the gun's rotation. When, for example, the target speed is doubled, not only is the deflection angle twice as great, but it is seen that the gun must be rotated at twice the rate to follow the target. A predictor gun sight designed to function at a fixed range would require no more than that its sighting mark should become offset in proportion to the rate at which the gun is turned. The gyro gun sight Mark 2D has such a sighting mark in the form of a movable graticule, the center of which is taken as the point for sighting. During straight flight, this graticule is kept concentric with this four degree fixed sight ring by the action of a gyro. When the aircraft is turned, however, the gyro causes the movable graticule to lag behind the fixed ring by the amount of the deflection angle. A higher rate of turn produces a correspondingly greater displacement of the graticule. When straight flying is resumed, the gyro returns the moving graticule to its central position in the sight. A gyro gun sight would be of little value if it functioned solely at a single range. But to function at a longer range, account must be taken of the longer time of bullet flight. Consider the case of target B at twice the range of target A, and with a speed which is also twice as much. Here, both targets require an equal rate of gun rotation. Because of the equal rate of gun rotation, an equal displacement of the graticule results, although we know that greater deflection is needed for the faster target at the greater range. It is clear, then, that the displacement of the graticule must be controlled according to the range. When the manual control is adjusted for a longer range, the displacement of the graticule is increased in proportion to the increase in the range. Notice that the range control not only adjusts the position of the graticule, but that it also alters its diameter. It is seen that deflection is correct when the six diamonds just contain the type of target aircraft which has been preset on the gun sight's wingspan scale. This scale is calibrated for a choice of aircraft types. The presetting of any particular type of aircraft alters the diameter of the graticule without affecting its position. Notice that there is no movement of the central bead when the span control is turned. 
If now the range control is turned so that the target is correctly calipered, the pilot may be sure that his guns are laid ahead of the target by the amount of the deflection angle. The four degree sight ring serves as a fixed graticule for use in air to ground attacks. A lever is provided so that the pilot can mask the ring if he prefers to use the sight without it. Set the wingspan control for the type of target. Set the range control for minimum range. This will restrict the movement of the graticule. Place the center bead of the movable graticule onto the cockpit of the target. Holding aim, adjust the range control to caliper the target. Press home the attack, then open fire. Here the pilot has failed to centralize his target within the circle of the movable graticule. Notice that as a result, the fixed cross, which shows the line of aim, is not directly in line with the target's line of flight. Here, the diameter of the graticule is larger than the target. The under-ranging of the target in this way is a common fault amongst pilots during their initial use of the gyro gun sight. Although less common, the error of over-ranging by closing down the graticule so that it is smaller than the span of the target should also be avoided. Pilots must realize that it is only when the target is correctly calipered that the gyro gun sight can lay off the right deflection.